I'm here with the head of volunteers, uh, Pratik. Hello, Pratik. Hi, Sagar. So, Pratik, uh, the volunteers have been a very important part of this Olympiad. Yeah. And they have done quite a lot of work. Uh, how did this idea come about and how did you get involved? Sure. So, uh, once India was selected as the host for Olympiad, I was really excited and I wanted to be a part of this Olympiad. So the actual story is that I had actually called Bharat sir to be a volunteer myself. But he got impressed by my resume of the work that I've done. I've been a, a former state champion and national player. And then I have uh, done MBA from XLRE Jamshedpur. I've managed a lot of events. I've organized a lot of events. I have a lot of uh, event organizing experience. So he got impressed by that. He called me to Mahabalipuram uh, and assigned me this job. So he asked me to get 400 more people like me. So this was on 18th of April and I joined the team on 2nd of May and since then we have been working. So this plan both Bharat sir and I uh, agreed upon was that we uh, wanted to give this opportunity to all the chess players and chess enthusiasts from all across the country and not just limited to let's say Chennai. And in itself it's an extremely unique program because whenever such events of such a scale happens, you typically, in, and it can be in chess or any other multi uh, sports events like Commonwealth Games or even Olympics, the typical thing is to go by, to nearby colleges and get volunteers from them. Because logistically, uh, effort wise, money wise it becomes extremely easy to manage that. But we wanted to make that extra effort, spend that extra money so that this opportunity is available to all the players because such an event probably will not happen for many decades again in India. And the young people who are right now booming, who are in the ecosystem contributing either as players, coaches, arbiters, as uh, spectators, as enthusiasts, they might never get such an opportunity to be inside the event and not just a mere spectator. So we, uh, both Bharat sir, me and Verma sir, we decided that this is the best uh, course of action, that we want people from all across the India to come and contribute to this event. And when you are passionate about chess, you will be willing to do whatever it takes to make this event a great success. So you will not look whether you are working 8 hours, 10 hours, 12 hours, 14 hours. You will be there till the work is done. And that is what we have seen from the entire volunteers team. So how would you know that someone is passionate? So typically uh, for uh, the form that we floated, well, uh, it was a very extensive form. To just finish the form, you needed one plus hour kind of commitment. I mean, you could not just finish form. And the second thing we did was we just floated all uh, the form in only chess-based, um, I mean, chess-related uh, uh, medias. Uh, we did not float it in general media, so that people who are following, for example, AIC website, chess.com, chess-based India uh, websites, and uh, YouTube channel, they only come to know about such a thing. So people who are connected to chess in some way or the other were only. Uh, being informed that such an opportunity was available. So that was the uh, course of action that we took and of course we promoted it via WhatsApp groups uh, and emails to all the states and all the WhatsApp groups that exist uh, for chess in India. So how many applications did you get? So we got a couple of thousands of applications. Uh, we had to sort through them. I personally have done about a thousand interviews hmm. on Zoom. And finally, we selected 400 of these volunteers. And are you happy with the result? Definitely, extremely happy. I mean, uh, uh, as I've told them already, that Bharat had given me the, uh, they had given me that bring 400 people like me, but I am 100% sure each and every one is better than me. So I am 100% happy that the entire team is extremely great. They are doing a wonderful job. Uh, if you talk to any players, officials, delegates, arbiters, they are all happy that we have such an enthusiastic team and everyone knows about chess because we have like in 400, 200 are federated. Okay, so everyone is extremely uh, passionate about chess, knows chess. I mean, and that is like uh, people who have been to multiple Olympiads. They are surprised because typically the volunteer team they get in the other Olympiads, uh, very few people have even had basic ideas about chess. So, uh, one of the other things which I was very surprised about is that everyone gets travel, stay and also are getting paid. Yeah. So uh, the idea was that again, I mean, uh, we wanted people to come across from all parts of the country. So we'll have to take care of their uh, travel so that uh, we decided we didn't want to uh, pay the flight tickets because that will become too expensive. So we are reimbursing up to the third AC fare from their city to Chennai and back. Uh, they are getting uh, st uh, stay and food in uh, two and three star hotels nearby. So there are actually 400 volunteers spread across six hotels uh, near the venue. And we are also paying a stipend of up to 15,000 rupees for the entire duration. Uh, so typically uh, volunteers, I mean uh, they're both forms, uh, you also have uh, free volunteers but we wanted to ensure because uh, volunteers are also sometimes they have to spend their own money to uh, go from some place to other. Uh, some people have actually come from uh, pretty far off places. 
volunteers. So we have wanted to ensure that they get a stipend. This stipend, and I can tell you, none of the 400 volunteers, any incentive is either the stipend or the stay or the reimbursement. I'm pretty sure all of them would have come if none of these were also not there. Just to be a part of this yeah, grand event. definitely. And uh, just when they came here, I think it's not easy to for them to start working. So was there a training yes. period? So actually the volunteers, while the Olympiad has started on 27th, all volunteers arrived on 21st. So 21st was the arrival day. From 20, 22nd and 23rd, we had what is called general training. So there we had modules uh, like, uh, first we had ice breaking activities because most of the 400 people are complete strangers to uh, one another. But they have to work in teams for the next three weeks. So they have to bond, gel together, communicate well uh, with each other instantly. I mean, I know in the next 20 days, they would definitely do, do, do that on their own, but we needed that to happen instantly. So we had ice breaking and team building ex exercises. And then we also gave them hospitality management training. Because all the volunteers are the front uh, uh, people wh whom any player, delegate can approach for any issue, any query that they have. So all of them have to uh, deal with that in a very civil, polite and uh, manner that is very hospitable. So that is the training that we gave. On 24th, we had the curtain raiser tournament. So in all of that, all the venue volunteers are actually involved in their own task. So we kind of got a, a mock drill on how the actual on would happen. And uh, 24th and 25th was effectively specific training in the specific departments that they have been given. Uh, they receive the training from the department heads and for example the venue volunteers actually got an entire mock drill of the uh, tournament happening on that day. And then uh, when everything started happening did you think as a head of volunteer that everything was under control or you think... Oh, I mean, see, uh, we have actually squished four years of uh, work into three months effectively. So when th such a thing happens and when you are organizing such a grand events, you get challenges at each and every nook and corner of the thing. So the entire three months of my time and these last uh, 15 days have definitely been very challenging. I mean, we have got challenges from every place. We have definitely been dealing with all of them. But uh, it's definitely not been an easy road. So while the volunteers are doing a great job, everything, you definitely have issues and we have definitely been going on solving them, going on how to deal with each issues. Uh, because I mean, these again, uh, the, our entire team, the average age is 22 years. So the entire team is extremely young. For a lot of them, uh, they have actually probably, if they're not uh, studying in a hostel, for example, they've got out of their house for such a prolonged time for a uh, first time in their life. Uh, and one third of the volunteer teams is uh, female volunteers. So uh, we have uh, ensured a good mix uh, of people from all the regions of the country. I mean, we have people from like uh, Kanyakumari to uh, Kashmir to Kanyakumari, Gujarat to uh, Tripura uh, and people from all, literally all the states in the country. But again, people are very young. There are a lot of volunteers, uh, 18, 19, 20 years of age. So for them, it's actually a very uh, big challenge. I mean, just to be here, uh, to be here for 20 days, separated from their family, friends back at home. So uh, there have been a lot of challenges, both from the volunteers team inside and from definitely from the outside organizing part. But I think we have been able to broadly cope up with that on a day to day basis. Absolutely. And you're talking about about the young volunteers that are there and I think we have with us the oldest volunteer <laughs> here. <laughs> Hi, what's your name? Jaikar. Jaikar, uh, tell us uh, how old are you? I am 52. 52 yes. and you decided to be a volunteer? Yeah, I decided to be a volunteer and uh, also be a part of this event because uh, for me it would never be, this is one, one time, one lifetime opportunity. I used, to, uh, I used to be a banker, I quit because of the love for chess and I'm, I'm a full-time chess trainer. And I also do quizzes, content for quizzes, which are two of my passions, which is my profession for the last few years. And this opportunity came, so I just went. And what's myself. your role here? I assist uh, uh, Pratik here on the whole volunteer thing and make sure that everything is taken care. One person handling 400 with 14 different departments. So I pitch in at wherever required. And I become all team leaders basically report to me on any escalation where I try to solve them and wherever I need Pratik's help, it goes to them. So, that's, that's so you have I'm a very important role. Yeah, I have a very, very important role. <laughs> and and uh, have you enjoyed your time here? Absolutely, absolutely. One of the best moments uh, of, of, of my chess career, I would say. Right? Fantastic. I'm grateful to Bharat sir and uh, the whole team to give me this opportunity and interest me to handle all this, uh, which has been great. Amazing. And I see right now over there, there is some kind of a meeting going on. Is that, are they all the volunteers there? 
So that is the fair play uh, team. So we have a huge fair play team because fair play has to assist right from when players are entering the hall. You have to ensure that they are not carrying any electronic items. So you have to frisk them uh, to ensure after that, that uh, while they're taking breaks, they're not talking to one another. Uh, whenever there's any suspicion, they get a random list of people whom they have to go and uh, physically monitor whether they're not cheating anything. There's a uh, uh, control room also where they have to work. So this, this is the entire fair play team whose meeting is right now going to be conducted so, by are, the... And they are being... Uh, right now given instructions by the head of fair play. Yeah, yeah, Mr. Yuri. And uh, we can also see Dharminder sir is also there <coughs> in the meeting. Okay, because they go to the toilet and then they hang around. Okay, this is another thing. So this is a very good example of how the volunteers work. They are basically instructed by their respective heads and then they have to work and then they report to them and so Yeah, definitely. This is how most of the teams are working. In venue itself, we have 14 teams working in the different areas. So we have, this is the hall one, where we have one uh, 96 boards, but all the top boards are playing here. So here we have to, because this is where all the spectators, all the VIPs, everyone wants to come and see all the top players. So here the management is quite different. And then we have the hall two, which is much bigger. So handling a much bigger hall is definitely a challenging thing. But uh, there the uh, number of spectators, uh, they come, are is typically a bit less. So this uh, uh, management of both the halls, actually the excess control is completely being done by volunteers. Mm. Then you have this huge uh, fair play team. Then you have one team assisting all the arbiters. You have one team uh, in, uh, in, uh, involved in the live game coverage. Uh, you have one team in food and beverages. You have one team for media. You have one team for commentary and broadcast. Uh, you have one very important team for cloakroom because we have three cloakrooms and the cloakrooms are again being completely being managed by volunteers team. Then you have uh, one team for school students because we have had school students from across India and then Tamil Nadu itself who have been uh, sponsored by AICF to come and visit this and actually see Olympiad live uh, with their own eyes. You have one team for ticketing and spectator management. That is again, the spectator management part is being completely managed by volunteers because we have to ensure that they are able to properly access the venue and then uh, go to the right place where they can see the Olympiad live in action. And actually as the days have progressed, the number of uh, spectators have actually increased. Yes. Because as the word has spread uh, around both the Chennai area and Tamil Nadu and actually all parts of the country, a lot of people have actually flocked to Mahabalipuram to see the Olympiad live in action. Yes. So, so yesterday we had huge queues and everything was being managed by volunteers themselves. Uh, then you have the expo area uh, where we have again volunteers. You have a protocol team which is dealing with VVIP people and, uh, and also some of the top players escorting them ensuring that they get a, get a safe access both while they're coming and while they're going out because a lot of the players have actually been bugged by a lot of spectators and uh, other people and sometimes even volunteers themselves to get a lot of selfies and autographs so to ensure that they get a smooth passage uh, there's a protocol team but this is just the venue volunteers we have volunteers working in accommodation because there are 21 different four and five star hotels hotels which have been booked for all the international players, officials, delegates and arbiters. So we have a help desk in each hotel which is being manned by two to three volunteers uh, at least for uh, initially they were banned for the entire 24 hours. Right now they are being banned from 16 to 18 hours. So we have in all these uh, hotels we have uh, volunteers. We have volunteers in transportation department because we have 125 buses, 100 innovas. So in uh, managing the coordination of everyone and ensuring that all the players come on time to the venue, leave uh, at appropriate times and any other uh, transportation that is happening in between. So that is all being done by volunteers. We have vol uh, 25 volunteers at the FIDE Congress that is happening in Leela Palace in Chennai. And then we have some volunteers working in admin areas like finance and helping the volunteer management itself. So these is how 400 volunteers have been spread across the entire event and they are like the front face of yeah. the Olympiad and helping Olympiad uh, uh, being organized properly in, at each and every level. I see how much you had to cram into these few minutes because there's so much of work Definitely. being done. Uh, and it is tr simply tremendous that uh, this entire program is running successfully. So a huge congratulations to you. Thank you so and much. And the entire team of AICF uh, for achieving this. And I believe, as you said, uh, I think I wrote it in one of my articles, just like how pawns are the soul of chess. I think the volunteers have been the soul of this, uh, this entire Olympiad. Sure. Thank you so Thank much. You.